All right, we are back again. I have the Black Classic Machine MK3 right here. Got machine opened up. About to go ahead and dive in. Not even gonna waste y'all time talking this time. We just gonna go ahead and see what we can come up with. Don't have anything specific in mind. You know, sometimes I do samples, sometimes I do the warm ups. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I am at 91 BPM. I'm gonna load up one of my drum kits that I pieced together and just see what I come up with. This is one of my favorites right here. I usually never start my beats with the drums, but for some reason I just felt like doing that. I'm gonna go ahead and load up some instruments real quick. Uh, I'm gonna use Analog Lab. Again, no real idea, just having some fun, good exercise. sounds like a score to me and usually that's what I go for sometimes when I make my beats just like telling the story along with like a movie or something like that so I'm gonna add a little effect to this real quick one of my favorite effects of course in guitar rig <laughs> I'll show the screen as I do this. I'm gonna get rid of this sustain. I may add it back because I don't want 
the entire thing to be sustained. So I gotta make my notes a little bit longer so you guys can see that real quick, I guess. Cause that whole thing being sustained just has too much low end in it. Let me see if I can let's see what it sounds like with this cut. I guess I gotta zoom in. Zoom in. For whatever reason, it's not letting me move this one. Move this down for one second. Now let me try it. Move it back up. I'm going to let this one stay on a little bit longer. There we go. It fade at that point. So let me just drag these out real quick. right there just sets it apart so that'll be a different part of the track
feel like something was missing from it. I do like that lead, and uh, even though I'm not in the mixing stage, I'm gonna turn it down some just so I can get a feel as to whether I wanna keep it or not. It's just something in the background. I didn't want it to be too overpowering. I want it to be like, kinda like ear candy, like you hear it, but at the same time, you have to really catch it. to this real quick. I don't even know what I'm gonna do, just record it first. are hitting and also where I'm gonna see where this is recorded at.
just a little piece of ear candy or something to set it off all the way. So I'm just looking for a sound. Do my favorites. I know that ain't gonna work, but I'm just gonna put it there for a placeholder. this noise on there but it'll be something i probably add later because i have uh, plugins for the noise when i'm actually in the mixing process <laughs> to the sample part and change the loop of this noise so I might just leave it on here like this and I'm gonna change my drums a little bit to give it a different feel and after that I think I'm pretty much done with it so I'm about to do that real quick go through some drums replace them and we're gonna see what we come up with or what it sounds like I should say <laughs> in there and then I tuned it down about 20 Let's see.
I like that uh, hi-hat just because it sounds better. Kind of gives it more life in my opinion. So let's see. Uh, maybe I'll change the snare. And then I'm going to go ahead and arrange this beat. And then from there we'll start the next one. I already see my camera battery is getting low. So I got to knock this one out. And then we're going to move on to the next one. So let's see. That's it for this beat. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and arrange it and then play the preview of it and then we'll dive into the next beat. So let me go ahead and arrange this real quick. It's fairly simple to arrange, honestly. One thing I love about machine, my workflow is fast and just works, for me at least. I'm gonna go ahead and start the beat off like that. I'm gonna add some more stuff to it like this. Started like that, and then we're gonna drop the lead for that part. So 
have some drums that are the hook drums. I'm going to duplicate this pattern and go back here because I want to build up without some of these instruments in there. So I'm going to make some changes real quick to that. Like I'm going to take the ride out. Um, what else could I take out at this point? scene I'm gonna go ahead and uh, make as a matter of fact after I arrange it I'll go ahead and do what I was gonna do so I'm gonna go ahead and append it uh, we got the intro first verse hook first verse hook uh, that and then I just want a sound at the end and that's it so for that let me go ahead and uh, look at it like this I'm on, back on the screen now and uh, I'm gonna set this as a clip. And for clip one, we are getting rid of everything except for the one hit. And then that's how the beat will end. Typically I end my beats a different way, but let's just do it like that and see how it ends. <laughs> I want it to end right there. So it's perfect. I'll play the first few moments of this beat just so you guys can hear what it sounds like arranged maybe up into the hook and um, from there, part two. That's 30 minutes, first 30 minutes, beat knocked out. Um, I gotta come up with a name for this. And after I name it, I'm gonna export it, then I'll be back, cause I don't want my camera to die. So I'm gonna swap the batteries, stop the recording of the video, and we're gonna dive right back into another beat. All right, um, yeah, so that last beat was good. Started with the drums, may do something similar here. And just, uh, again, build up, as you guys saw, Started the beat with the drums, made the beat, swapped the drums out, 
usually how it goes. These are usually just placeholders when I start the beat. Sometimes it's like that even for the instruments. I may end up swapping them out later. But um, I might start something. Let me see. I might start this with some drums. May not go all the way with it like I did last time. Let me see what's in this kit. Had to find me a piano real quick. Let me see. I'm looking through my library, looking for my favorite. Actually, here it is, emotional piano. Again, don't know what I'm gonna do. Just gonna have some fun. real quick just to see I don't know I'm not really feeling this one right now though and I just started I don't know let's see <laughs>
mic so you guys if you just hear the uh, background that is a lawnmower so I'm staying off the microphone um, as of right now I like this beat even though at that point in time that lawnmower just keeps getting louder even though I said I wasn't feeling it for that second you can see how easily it changed I'm gonna add a bass to it maybe a few other ear candy and then uh, yeah that'll be that I do like this one now though I'm just trying to get the bass to sound isn't working that's what I wanted to use and it's not working right now I've been using the complete control for this part to get to where the actual sound is so that's why my hands aren't over here I'm gonna record this real quick and then see what else I'm gonna add to this
be a little overboard. I'm gonna see if I can find a saxophone for this. <laughs> Just because I feel like playing around a little bit. I like how the beat sounds, but I don't know. I want to add a little bit more to it. It's just a just a vibe.
Guani. this real quick and uh, do it like I always do and play the first portion of it and um, yeah we'll see what happens from there that'll probably be the end of this because that'll be two beats and uh, hour long video so go ahead and arrange this it for this beat i'm gonna go ahead and play it for the first part and uh yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments below help use a machine I have my video course up on teachable.com and it's entitled how I use machine I cover everything from how I start a beat to finishing the beat the link is in the description below so if you need help with machine go check that out hopefully you enjoy the video <laughs> 